Atlanta really is the Hollywood of the South. It is. It's a multi-billion dollar industry here in the Peach State. Atlanta News First Don Shipman is live outside with a view of Assembly Atlanta also up on the roof. So, so much open space in those sound stages, but that's where the magic is made. Oh, definitely, Rick and Lana. Yeah, 20 plus sound stages, and you can really get that vantage point. You can see how massive this property really is. You know, a lot of people want to, you know, do a lot of work inside there, and that will surely happen soon enough. But still, some production companies seek out the real deal, and municipalities, businesses, and regular people in Georgia are cashing in. I'll get uh, contacted by a location manager. Scouts for Reptiles starring Benicio Del Toro and Justin Timberlake wanted a retro vibe, which they found with the Manili firm. It was super fun when we actually watched the film. But instead of a law firm, the building was turned into a real estate company. The production company took over the property for four days, even throwing in a few plot twists. We got a call at about 10 o'clock and they said they'd like to break out the front window. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> and they said they promised they'll have it boarded up immediately after and replaced within 24 hours, and they did. Due to a non-disclosure, Manili couldn't talk dollar amounts, but said movie making helps to offset costs. There's hardly a day that goes by in Marietta that you don't see a film crew set up somewhere. The city of Marietta also generates money from movie making. Parks and Recreation Director Richard Buss says that they issue on average 35 permits for filming per year. But he says local businesses are the ones that really profit. We have three or four churches that always provide parking and, you know, they'll be there for days with the base camp. Thanks in part to tax incentives, the Georgia film and television industry spent a record $4.4 billion in Georgia last year alone. But like other neighboring states in recent years, there's debate under the gold dome of scaling back those incentives. And what that has caused is for the industry to flee and those jobs to dry up. And he says many of those jobs came here to Georgia, like the ones you're seeing right there, all those construction workers. And here at Assembly Atlanta, once fully operational, owner Gray Television, the parent company of Atlanta News First, estimates it'll create upwards of 4,000 new jobs. And like many others in the TV and film industry, Gray CEO Hilton Howell is a vocal advocate of those tax incentives. We will have to wait and see where all of that leads. We're live here at Assembly Atlanta. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First.